This is a broken LED strip controller. It was torn from the actual strip of LEDs, ripping off the solder pads. It could have been repaired, but I have a better idea in mind. As you can see here, we have our white, blue, red, and green light wires, as well as a common ground wire. This is a relay. Relays control a large flow of electricity with a smaller flow of electricity, such as my LED controller. If I am correct, pushing the correct light button on the remote should turn on the power to the corresponding wired color. Let's test that theory. Here is my tester. I will run this test connected to the white light wire, but any wire will do. As you can see when I turn it on, that around 5 volts are supplied. And when I turn it off, no voltage is supplied. Now I will clean the wires with my soldering iron in order to remove the old solder pads. After hooking it up to a relay, it seems to be working great, closing the switch when voltage is applied. Here is a basic prototype that I made. It switches on this small power strip when a small voltage is applied to the other end of the relay. I can demonstrate this by hooking up the LED controller to the relay here. When we push the on button on the remote, the light bar will light as current is now passing through the relay. Now you probably know where I am going with this. I will design and 3D print a straightforward case housing the LED controller and the relay. Let's take a look under the plastic casing to get some design measurements. This was a fun little project. Although someone has probably done this before, I think my version was unique. Since there are multiple color buttons on the remote, you could run multiple channels or outlets with one remote.